So on Friday 30th, we collected samples. And among other places that we collected samples was our GK prison here in CIA. <coughs> uh, we on that day we took 63 cumulative 63 samples, mm. combining both the prison and the general population. Out of those uh, 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 63 samples, 34 turned negative, mm. and number one that should be alarming because that is like. 50% percent mm -hmm. of the of the tests that we did. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, out of those 60, 63, 33 were from the prison, and 28 turned positive. That even alarmed us. So based on that, we got these results uh, on Friday night. Uh, so on Saturday, we we then visited the prison to find out what could have triggered that uh, and uh, what happens is that the way the prison has organized itself since the pandemic began is that they have they have separated blocks blocks for the general population who are already serving terms meaning the population that never leaves uh, the facility and uh, a block which they call quarantine stroke isolation where they put all new remandees. Mm -hmm. uh, they put them there until they are tested and their COVID status is known, which uh, is a very commendable uh, um, management uh, right. approach. Mm -hmm. So all the 33 samples that we got were from this quarantine mm -hmm. block. Okay. And it is that population that gave us the 28 number. So on Saturday, we went there and we did preliminary assessment and uh, 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 put in place measures, improved a few measures. Uh, those were my technical officers. But yesterday now, we met uh, with the, both my, myself and my team and uh, the prison commander and their team yeah. to now come up with uh, firm strategies on how we were going to deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. After assessing the quarantine itself, mm -hmm. We felt that we were not safe with the, with, the, with the tests that were done. So we made a decision also to test the remaining uh, inmates mm -hmm. who were in that block. And yesterday we tested 38. Rapid test. Right. Remember, these are people whose freedoms are curtailed oh, yeah. by the law. Mm -hmm. But we were able to overcome that because the prison authorities went and they assessed our facility. The good thing is that that facility is on its own compound. Oh, yes. So they looked at it and they said, yes, with this we can provide security. Mm -hmm. So they gave eight orders to okay. guard that facility. Of course, outside. They don't access inside the, All right. inside the isolation unit All because right. of the obvious dangers. Mm -hmm. uh, with regard to the ones who have remained there, we also took put in place a number of measures. The, we built a small dispensary at the prison to serve the inmates, mm -hmm. so that we, 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 we reduce moving inmates to okay. the local okay. uh, facilities outside the prison. It yes. was cumbersome because you know an inmate must be accompanied by yes, an yes. armed officer all yes. the time. Mm -hmm. So we have a dispensary there. So we have reinforced that dispensary. There was only one nurse from us and another nurse by the, by, by the prison. We have added them two nurses so that we enhance the capacity because now we want that institution to be monitored on a 24-hour uh, kind of arrangement and that cannot be achieved if the human resource is so limited. We have also entered an arrangement where uh, uh, fumigation will be done on a daily basis at that institution. Luckily, they had the, the machine, so we will be giving them the, subs, the requisite substance uh, to do that. So, overall, we uh, must remain uh, on top of things, especially in the prevention. Mm -hmm. That is for, for the prison. But mm -hmm. generally, in the county, <coughs> uh, so far, with those cases that were reported, we, will, we now have cumulative number of 928 positive cases reported to date. Uh, this is out of a total sample of 13,000 
346 tests that we have, uh, we have, we have, we have done all, all this way. So unless there is something discussed yesterday, because we were keen on prevention. Because you see, this is now a problem that is transferred to the prison. Mm -hmm. These people were in the police, and on the day one that they are taken there, they are sampled, and they are, they are positive. So uh, uh, prevention requires collaborative approach. And for us to fix the, the problem at the prison, we must work with the police and we must also bring in the court because remember even the court are now exposed these people came from the police they passed through the court they were processed and that is what made them end up at the, at the prison so i want to assure you that my surveillance team was tasked that's one of the assignments that we, we we tasked them to take up because we also need to contact trace these people came from the police where did they come from how safe is the communities where they came from before they reached the police. So we are doing that.